Hi guys, in this video, we are going to see the rich UI, how to use the rich UI in Dialogflow and how we can leverage the welcome event to trigger a chatbot from your messenger. Okay, so before moving on, uh, just a simple request to all the viewers who are watching. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because 92% are not. And if you are coming from Google search, obviously uh, just like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to give a thanks if it is pretty much useful for you. Okay. So coming to Dialogflow CX. Okay. So what we are trying to learn is trying to learn the rich UI, right? So for that rich UI, right, we have to go to the integrations and over here, we have to enable the connect because if we test over here, rich UI will come as just a JSON payload that I will show uh, and it will be no use for you. Okay. So what for that, what we have to do is first uh, open the document because that is also what we required. And what I will do is allow unauthorized UI something. This is something like it will be appear. And once I do that, I can copy this uh, JSON or the JavaScript which is generated. I've already created a video on this, but I will again do uh, the flow, like what exactly we have to do. So we copied that one, uh, this, this script over here, copy code. And what I will do is I will go over here. I will open with, open with notepad okay i will do just copy paste over here and save and what i will do is okay don't forget about this this is don't worry about this this code is already available in the github link given into the description section of this video so i will do no dot load dot html i think yeah and it is running on port number 3000 this code is also available in the github so don't have to worry Good question. What will be the URL? Uh, so I have to go back to the code, load HTML, open, and uh, okay, we have no, we have not given the URL. So start chat. So let's give that over here. If I type start chat HTML, this start chat HTML will get triggered. Okay, let me just restart. And instead of this, start chat. We see an icon over here. So once we click, uh, it's initiate the bot. I will say hi. And uh, the message which we have configured for hi that will come over here. And I think we had something called. Uh, where it is, yeah like this not like this let's copy till this and what we discussed in the previous video is we are going to show the button for the cards right because the cards are predefined i will say silver over here and it will display the this one so over here please provide this one so instead of that what we are going to do is we are going to leverage the UI or the buttons over there. Okay, so for that what we have to do we open this URL while triggering or configuring this one Right, so once you click this view documentation this page gets open in that go to the dialog flow messenger fulfillment, right? And once you go over there, you will see that different type of uh, responses that it is supported What we are going to use is the suggestion chip. Okay, something like this will appear, right? And what we have to do is just copy this one. Let me copy and open a new tab. Okay. So what do we want to display? Do we want to display a URL? I don't have any URL for gold, platinum, and this thing. Or well, let's have one, right? Let me Google and find it. Do we want to do anchor? Well, means as an anchor is once you click, it will open the URL. Okay. So we don't want to have anchor, right? So I will remove the anchor, right? And what will be the text? Uh, okay, so what is the mode of blocking? So when it is a mode is blocking, right? So what it means is user cannot have a text area. So if I open over here, so this area that you're seeing, right? Uh, if you remove that blocking mode, 
what will happen is user can type over here but if you keep the blocking mode on right mode as a blocking right so you this get area get disabled and user have to select out of this uh, buttons right so that is the meaning of the blocking over here we will keep the blocking okay and uh, what are the pages i have just three buttons i have right <laughs> so i will use this and i will add one more button over here and we will name it gold and the last one as silver and remove this too okay so now we have three chips or suggestion chips right uh, platinum gold silver user can select any of those now for just for the icons right uh, i can go and search for icon uh, so platinum icon do we have something like that images i like this one copy image address so let's do this one whoops what happened oh that's too big uh, let's see copy open image in new tab so this will give the url where is the tab okay yeah this is also so big but let's give okay i will give only for this one oh it's a small one okay and let this two be, be without any image because it's very time consuming right so let's control a control c now what we will do is where we are asking it right uh, user to provide the uh, card details right so that was inside the parameter over here what i will do is which uh, please provide name over what I will do is please select the card you like to use and over here what I will do is select custom payload and just paste it over here click save why there is an error ah, that's okay click save close and let's, let's test over here right Wait. let's say hi what other text I had? Uh, copy paste it. That is this one, right? So I gave this one. Now you can see over here something as a custom payload is coming, right? Mm. So let's test it out in our UI. Uh, where is our UI? This one. Refresh oops okay so now if you see this is another uh, i was planning to do but uh, let's yeah i will plan it to do in next one what i will do is i will open this one over here click hi to trigger the bot and uh, i will just paste it over here and we should see three buttons We are not seeing the buttons why i did not save click save or what click view click cards oh, very nice no? very 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 nice i did not click save just to make sure let's get save but no why is there any error no no okay so now i had to remove those uh, errors that we are getting otherwise it is not allowing me to save so just to make sure that it got saved properly now it is over here what we will do is we will go back to our ui and close this one 
control shift n new browser new start session click over here say hi and uh, give the ui as this as an input and now you can see over here that we are getting platinum gold and silver platinum with the icon right so if i select platinum right it will tell me that okay now the card has been booked with the platinum okay now there are few changes that i want to suggest is right now like if i do a refresh the uh, session doesn't get clicked and also at the start we have to give high right so this is already covered in one of the previous videos uh, which we had but uh, again i will explain so that uh, in this journey of chapters right it stays over there so you remember the we created this uh, page start chat html right over here there are some parameters are given right so what we will do is we will go to that document which uh, we initially saw and over here if you go to the dialog flow messenger a tab right so here they have uh, given few of the parameters which we can leverage right and uh, what we will do over here is uh, i think javascript events here yeah. is it javascript event uh, no 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 it's, uh, it's this one i think okay so what are the things we can change right so first i want to change is for every uh, uh, every time I refresh the page, right, or every time uh, the page gets started, right, it should trigger a welcome, right. So what I will do is I will give intent. So I will just copy over here and go. And if you see, this is for DF Messenger, okay. So under the DF Messenger, I will go and mention this and uh, over here what it says that a custom event that will be invoked when the chat dialog is open you can use an event handler that can be called for this event and will produce the first agent message so this is like proactive or when you are starting the page it will get triggered automatically when you open it right so let's give the name as something as welcome okay and click save what we will do is we will go to our first page so this is the start page default start flow welcome page and over here we will add a event okay so use custom event and we will give name as welcome and over here we can say hi how can i help you click add and where it goes it goes to the page main menu right and click save so this is all done now what i will do is i will just show okay uh, let's handle the refresh one also so again we will go to dialog flow messenger and over here what we see is the storage option okay so what happens right now is by default storage option uh, is enabled what we will do is we will set it to none so that uh, whenever we reload or refresh the page it will clear whatever the communication or the session is ongoing okay obviously if you want to store the session for uh, entire till the page is closed and open then uh, you can remove this option so for us what we will do is i will just select this storage option enter over here equal to double quote what is this none and click save now if i do a refresh over here and initiate the bot you will see that it's a new session and automatically you are getting a welcome event now i can directly ask the question which i wanted to ask uh, now since it will not ask me to provide the welcome intent so now i can directly oops what happened to my mouse and paste it over here enter oops now i can select any of this one and this got the response so yeah this is how we can use the rich ui okay we will see more rich ui example once we go through the journey right and also we saw that how to use the welcome event to trigger the bot when it has been clicked 
is basically known as proactive chat no, proactive chat and the third one also we saw that how to set the storage to none so that when you refreshed uh, it always start as a new session okay don't forget to leave, give a like and subscribe thank you have a nice day